Previously, we've covered how to create ROIs or regions of interest using either contrast or anatomical toolboxes. However, in FSL, you may also want to create a sphere and place that sphere in a certain location in the brain for your ROI. This is similar to AFNI's 3D Calc and SPM's Mars Bar. To do this, first of all, let's open up FSL View. And we're going to open up our template space that we warp to. So in this example, let's say I've warped to this template, this average 152T1, which is an MNI space. And furthermore, let's say that based on a previous study, I want to place a sphere at a certain location in MNI space. And let's say it's in the anterior cingulate, roughly around this area. And from another paper, I know the coordinates are going to be 0, 22, and 30. So those are just in the x, y, and z directions. Notice here that these three rows right here, these are the M and I coordinates, and these three rows right here are the actual voxel coordinates. So just hit return, make sure that the crosshairs are roughly in the location where you think it's going to be as a sanity check, and then write down these three numbers right here, the ones that are in voxel space. We'll need this to create our ROI later. And by later, I mean right now. So X out of that, and the first command we're going to use is FSL Maths. This is similar to 3D Calc. So FSL Maths, the first argument is the actual file of the template space that you've already warped to, or the template space that you're interested in gathering data from. Right? So in this case, I'm just using this template average 152 T1 brain. And just so you know, this is actually in my current working directory. Second, this multiply by zero, this is going to zero out any intensity in that template space. So it's like I have a blank space, but I have no information about intensity there. Next, I'm going to add a one to my ROI. So when I generate my ROI, it's going to have an intensity value of one. Okay. Now this ROI command, this takes four different pairs of numbers. This first pair right here, this is the X coordinate and the size, which is going to be 1 in this example, and then the y coordinate and a size of 1, the z coordinate and a size of 1. Okay, these are not MNI coordinates, but from FSL view, they're the associated voxel coordinates. It's just how FSL maths will operate. And these last two are the t dimension, so time, and 0 and 1, just the defaults, that's just how it's going to work. Next, give it an output label for your ROI. This is just going to be a point at this stage. And then output data type, which is going to be float. So hit return. It only takes a couple seconds. And the next command is going to be, again, FSL maths. We're going to feed into it that point we created in the previous command, but now we're going to enlarge a sphere around it. That's where this kernel sphere command comes in. So kernel, and then it's going to be a sphere, and it's going to have a size of 5. Okay, this is the radius in millimeters. So in other words, create a sphere around that XYZ coordinate that we gave before and make it a radius of 5 millimeters. Okay. F mean just accounts for any edging artifacts, I believe. And then this is going to be the output data file. Okay, so ACC sphere in this case. Just an example, you can make it any output file that you want. And then the output data type, again, is going to be float, just for precision. This should only take a few seconds. And once it's done, we're going to open up FSL view again. I'm going to first open up my standard. So again, this template that's in MNI space. And now I'm going to add as an overlay that sphere that I created. So ACC sphere. And just double check to make sure that it actually is in the space that you want. And using these M and I coordinates down here, just enter the same ones previously to make sure it, it's centered where you think it should be centered. At this point, extracting parameter estimates and other data from this ROI is the same as the previous videos where we extracted information from contrast and anatomical, anatomical ROIs.